No, you no. can. Oh. No, not. <laughs> start, 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 okay. What are you start over, start over, start over. No, no. You you can eat it only after a few days. <laughs> Mommy, you're not acting. Just say it now. <laughs> okay, okay. No. <laughs> Just say no. Okay, no. You can eat it only after a few days. If you want to keep it for, <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cravings Vlog. Today is a really special episode because I have my mommy dearest with me. This is the inspiration from where I learned how to cook and why I have such a deep passion for food. So my mom is an amazing, amazing cook, but she's very shy and she very reluctantly decided to make her debut on Cravings Vlog. So today she's going to show us how to make one of my all-time favorite recipes shrimp pickle. To make this recipe you need really really simple ingredients and you will get four of these eight fluid ounce bottles of shrimp pickle that you can either enjoy by yourself or share with friends. Now normally I'm very generous and I love to share gifts from my kitchen with my friends but I think these are so special that I might want to just keep them for myself. So here's what you need to get started. You need mom how much? A half, pound and a half of shrimp? So a pound and a half of shrimp, you can use any kind of shrimp that you like. I've used tiger shrimp because that's my preference. We use frozen shrimp, you can use uh, fresh shrimp if you like. Here in Toronto, fresh shrimp is quite expensive, so we're using frozen shrimp instead. And we're using a whole bunch of other ingredients that's going to pickle this deliciousness to perfection. So earlier today, what we did was we just lightly steamed the prawns or shrimp. My mom put it in a pot together with three green chilies and she meticulously took all the seeds out of the chilies because we don't want that to be quite spicy and we added about half a cup of water to that and we just let it steam now at the end of that process we cooked it for about how long like 10 to 15 minutes maybe five five to ten minutes and at the end of that we took the shrimp out and we saved the stock and the stock don't throw away because it's like liquid gold. It has so much flavor in it. We're not only going to use it in this recipe, but we can also save it, freeze it, use it in other dishes, and it's completely delicious. The chilies that you use in this, we want to discard. I want to make that very clear because we want the flavor of the green chilies. But my mom says if you grind that up, it's going to be quite spicy and it's just be yeah. too much to handle. So make sure to throw those green chilies out. Now we're going back to the stove and we're going to roast some of the spices. I've got about 15 red chilies. These are gorgeous red Kashmiri chilies. They're not always available to everybody. You can substitute this for chili powder. We've got about nine teaspoons of chili powder here. You can use any kind of chili powder that you want, but just be aware that some chili powders are spicier than others as, as we've discovered. So try it with perhaps a little bit less chili powder than you're used to and then if it's if it's what you can handle just add nine teaspoons we're also going to use ginger and garlic and curry leaves my favorite this is going to be used at the end and mustard seeds so let's get started first add one teaspoon of cumin seeds ten peppercorns mustard seeds quarter teaspoon one inch cinnamon cloves six and mustard seeds for the masala magic this is the actual spice paste that's going to make up the pickle it is so simple but so 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 delicious so I'm gonna start with all of the spices that my mother just roasted and it's still a little bit warm but that's okay that's gonna go into the food processor 
Now I do have a food processor that is really, really powerful and that makes it really easy. I've got nine teaspoons of chili powder. We actually just ground this up ourselves. We used 15 red Kashmiri chilies, but the equivalent of the powder is nine teaspoons. So if you don't have red Kashmiri chilies, you can just go ahead and put nine teaspoons of red chili powder. And this red chili powder, because it's Kashmiri red chili powder, it actually gives that really nice red color to the pickle. So that's why we prefer to use it. I've got an inch of ginger. Now normally I just chop the ginger quite coarsely because I'm just gonna grind it all up, but my mom is a stickler. So basically I'm using chopped ginger and I've got about six cloves of garlic. And that's gonna go in, just chop this up. So this is going up, going in as well. And I'm going to grind this up with a little bit of vinegar. I've got about half a cup, quarter to half a cup of vinegar so this is looking really good i can see that this paste is really thick you can see some of the ginger and garlic so it still needs to be broken down and and become a really fine paste remember when i was talking about that shrimp stock earlier that liquid gold well let's use some of this right into the spice paste i'm going to pour a little bit as much as you need to make a really smooth paste. And now we're ready to get this shrimp pickle started. What are we gonna start with, Mom? We're gonna start with two to three tablespoons of oil till it's a little hot. Well, the pan is preheated, so the oil is nice and hot. What's next? Mustard seeds, one teaspoon. Till it splutters. Oh, I can hear it crackling already. Okay, next. Curry leaves, cut up fine. Oh, why do you cut the curry leaves? So that you don't throw off the leaves. You well, some people I think prefer the curry leaves whole. So if you like to have full curry leaves, that's fine. But my mother likes to cut them really fine. Next, Next ginger strips, cut in strips. Ginger strips cut in about one inch. Six garlic pieces, cut in strips Cut in julienne? Too. Julienne, yeah. Slightly brown. Okay, so we're just going to saute this for a little bit. Let it turn brown. What's next? The okay. masala. Oh. This, this is what we call the masala magic. Special masala. For at least five minutes, five minutes at least, so that the smell of the chilies come out. Then the prawns. So in some places they call them shrimp and in some places they call them prawns, but I think because in Canada these are so small, we call them Thank you. 
some salt. Salt to taste, right? Yeah. What's that, Mom? What a cup And keep it for five minutes. smells so amazing. I've got four of these jars and they're ready to go. Can I eat this right now? No. You have to wait for at least a few days. A few days? Why? Yes. Because it has to marinate properly. Oh, okay. So there we have it. A completely delicious shrimp pickle that you can have with some rice or fish curry, whatever you like. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Blog and see you next time. And don't forget, please do visit my channel at youtube.com slash cravings blog. I have lots of recipes to share. And now that my mother's visiting me, she has many to share as well. So see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye. There you go. Was that so hard?